everybody, it's your boy D Bros, Dan Bronson, and welcome to the fan club. It's going down, folks. I'm super excited about this episode, but sad at the same time because we have to say farewell to our homie Jabari Parker. You guys know I'm a huge Milwaukee Bucks fan, and I've always loved Jabari. He's got a very creative offensive game. He can do it all. He can shoot the three, the jump shot. He's athletic. He's physical. But we let him go because of the two ACL injuries, and the Chicago Bulls wanted to sign him to a two-year, $40 million deal. The first year is guaranteed. Second year is a team option, so that is smart from the Chicago Bulls. If they do not want him after this year, they can let him go and he'll find another two. They don't have to pay him that. And what else were the Bulls going to do besides get the hometown hero, take care of your, your blood, your family, get him paid, and let's see what he can do. Now, Personally, I feel like Javari Parker is going to ball out this year and average about 26 and 3 um, if he's healthy. That's the thing, folks. And with the Bucks, it just, I hated it because he's such a good player, but he doesn't fit in with our scheme well. We already have a player that kind of is like him, but better, and Giannis out of the Kumpo, and Jabari never really fit in here. Because he was, one, he was always injured, so he could never flow in, and he never found his spot. Now, do I feel he's a perfect fit for the Bulls? No, because they have so many wings, but they're going to turn him into a three instead of a four, and he's not going to be a power forward no more. So let's put him at the three, see what he can do. Um, and, and I mean, honestly, I really like Jabari. It's sad to see him go. I was looking forward to him just coming back on that on that fifth year rookie contract year for the, the four mil, and I was happy about that. I thought that would have been nice, but now this, we we couldn't afford 20 mil, and it really would stunt the growth of our team if he even had another injury like he's had. So I get what the Bulls are doing. They're paying him good money to get him to come there, and they're going to see what he can do. And... Jabari, he's only 23 years old, folks. So when you look at it, he's actually a very good player. If he can stay healthy, there's room to grow, and he could be a 25 and 7 guy at his best. If he can stay healthy and keep going the way that he should be going, going up, dude could be like a scoring champion maybe one year, like a Carmelo Anthony. But those knees scare me, man. Um, but if he can keep it together, I like him. He's a good cat. R.I.P. Jabari with the Bucks. I'm sad to see you go, but honestly, when you look at we got Ursa Elias Silva and Brooke Lopez combined is 10 mil. Combined. 10 mil for the, this year. He's getting... Um, instead of Jabari's 20. You know, for half the price, we got a forward that is adequate to replace Jabari in the sense of he can shoot, he can play defense. He's not as explosive. He's never been, but the dude can just play. He, similar styles of the game, and we, we got Brooke Lopez, a big man, which we really needed. Um, defensively and rebound-wise, he's not the best, but this offensive man can score. And we're hoping Thon can keep getting better. Thon Maker has to keep getting better, and this team can. The sky's the limit this year with Coach Bud. I honestly think that the Milwaukee Bucks are a team on the rise. They will be a top three team in the East this year. They have to be. Giannis keeps getting better, and now there's no LeBron to knock his block off. So let's go, Bucks. Congratulations, Chicago Bulls. You guys got a good player. And we'll see you four times this year, not including the playoffs, but so you never know with the weak East, the Bulls could make the playoffs this year. They can, if Jabari can stay healthy, Levine can stay healthy. They have a nice little team here. We'll see what happens, but what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, subscribe, share. We'll see you next time on the Fan Club. Peace.